Now, if I said, let's do it with that, but at half the speed you were just doing it. Okay. Half the speed. All right, take a rehearsal or two just so you can kind of get it. Is it, you know, the weight of a club. Good. Stay there. Close the club face more. Turn it down. That's it. Do it again. Stay there. Squeeze. Close the face. Perfect. Yeah. Now, I'm going to have you, I'm going to add one more thing into this. Can you hold the golf club right across the top of your kneecaps? If I said this is, uh, there's zero degrees, yeah. okay, you good in geometry? Sure. <laughs> there's zero, okay. here's 90, okay. there's about 45, okay. okay, put your toes up near the line, okay. If you want, I don't mind when players flare their left yeah. toe out, okay, so that's normal, but now I want you to turn your knees, so put the club right at the top of your knees. Okay. Turn 45 degrees toward the target with your knees. Okay? So just basically take your whole stick and go. Psh. Good. Go back to zero. Three simple rules. Number one, they're going to stay level. Number two, they're going to stay the same distance. Okay. So now turn to 45 toward the target. This heel's got to come way up. You feel that? Yeah. Good. Do it again. Turn 45. Level. Good. You see how I'm not letting them get closer yeah. to one another? Okay. Turn 45 again. That's it. Perfect. You feel how much pressure is there? Yeah. Think you, can you jump from right there? Yeah. yeah. You feel that? Yeah. So put the club there again. Yeah. Okay. That's where you were. Can you jump from there? Yeah. Not, not as much, right? Yeah. So you feel how the difference in pressure into the ground change? Right. Okay. So put the club up there again. Okay. Turn 45 toward, toward the target. Higher heel, high heel. That's it. Do it again. Knees stay the same distance. That's it. And you should feel, go ahead, do it again. Perfect. Feel some pressure there? Yeah. Make a fist with your right hand. Okay. Draw your arm back okay. like you're going to throw a punch. Give yeah. me a deep squat. Deep squat and throw an uppercut to my hand. Perfect. That's how you turn in golf. Okay. 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 Two things. I am going to show you your before swing from this view. Okay. Because there really wasn't any turning at all. Can you put that right across your kneecaps again? Okay. And turn turn 45 toward toward the target. Okay? Do that again keeping the same distance between your knees. So maybe even Jack, put your fingers on your knees. Look at that measurement. And keep it the same. Good. Do it again. Perfect. So go ahead and take your grip. Let me get this club out of the way. So the goal here is swing it back to about waist high. Okay. So can you separate your feet a little bit? Okay. We're going to call it when the shaft is parallel to the ground, waist okay. high. Number two, can you relax your wrists? Like squeeze the club, okay. but relax your wrists. Good. You feel that? Yeah. That's what a good player would feel okay. at that moment in time. Okay. Kind of like when you went to throw the punch at my hand. Right. Didn't matter if your hand was loose here. Yeah. But by the time you got to my hand, it had better firmed up. Right. So your wrists, they don't have to be super tight right. back here. They're just going to firm up a little bit for the hit and then slightly after the hit. Okay. okay. So swing back to waist high, please. Okay. Now, if we get this wrist and this hip working at the same rate, okay. turn, 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 boom. Do you feel how turned you're going to be at impact? Yeah. And where is that going to put your hands? Uh, in front of the club. In, in front, front of the ball. Right. Yeah. Or kind of in line or even maybe slightly ahead of the left foot. Can you take a couple of rehearsal swings feeling that? Full swing? Or just no, no. Just waist high and then turn 45 degrees. That's it. Do it again. Do it again. I'm going to steal that club from you for a second. Stand, stand right next to me. Hold your hands like this. Move your left wrist forward. Okay. Do not move your knees and your pelvis. Swing your arms forward. 
See how they can't go anywhere past that? Yeah. So if you get this thing working at 80 miles an hour yeah. and there's no turn, your range of motion is going to collapse right in here. <laughs> okay. So in order to turn, I thought I had you do that in California, but Probably. like if, if your arms go far and your knees and pelvis aren't moving, yeah. it's going to break right in here. Okay. All right. Unless you stand up, turn, yeah. all right, and get the pelvis and chest and ribs turning. Okay. I know uh, that's true. So take a couple of rehearsal swings, just waist high. Okay. This and this turn at the same rate. Okay. And now from right there, push off your right foot and keep turning to right here. Okay. Waist high, pause, turn 45. Good. And hit the ground. Get accustomed to that. Waist high, pause, turn. Okay, and the turn is really happening at the same rate that your arms are swinging. Okay? Turn. Good. Chip a few. Okay, I would love to see you stop the club like right here, right in front of you. Oh, okay, so it's good. like, oh yeah, so it's like right here. Okay. Squeeze. Now relax your wrists. Okay, you feel the weight of the club? Yeah. So when you look down, we see this shape. Okay. okay. Just waist high, little turn. That's it. Okay, look at your wrist now. I don't care where the ball goes. Okay. Look, look at where, what your wrist did. And you can tell a lot. Swing back to waist high. Using your legs, okay. now flex both knees, turn toward the target, toward the target. So that's pulling your arms, turn your legs, turn your legs, turn your legs, turn your legs. Come on, pull that left, whole left leg back. Good. So that, that should look like this. Take the club in your right hand, hook behind your knee, put the club right above that knee, kind of give yourself a little turn back. Now I want to see that whole left leg go that way. Yeah, now you can push off, can't you? Yeah, yeah. So you feel what your legs are doing. Yeah. Right, so Jack, if I have a ball that sits right on this shaft, yeah. if my arms are swinging down faster than this is turning, yeah. the odds of me hitting the ground back here go up. Yeah. Okay, so even if you're not chunking it, you might hit a thin, yeah. okay? Because the low point of the swing is back here. But if I'm here and we get your legs cranking, that gets everything, like your chest, we're gonna get it facing forward by the time you hit the ball. And right there, now you're just using your legs to push, push, push. Okay. Good. Keep going, keep turning. Perfect, you're done. Right here, relax that left wrist. Good. Do it again. And clip the ground each time. Watch where, watch where the club hits the ground. Waist high. Go, turn. Okay, and perfect. Just about into a straight line. Do it again. Waist high, turn. Good. That was really good. Did you get that one? Yeah. That was beautiful. Do it again. Waist high. Good. Turn. Come on. Turn. Turn. Good. So I want you to sense. So let's do that again. Put the club behind your left knee. Okay. Hold it, like pin it up against your right knee. So put your hand the other way. Uh, put your hand on that. There we go. So give it a little tug going back. Okay. Go back to square. Give it a little tug going back. So that's going to turn that hip a little that way. Yeah. And now I want that whole left leg to just kind of do a full circle. And now just push off your right foot. There we go. So instead of, instead of the pelvis going this way, well, it's tough to throw a punch here, but if I turn, that increases the pressure into the ground so now I can push going through and back. Turn. Yes, do it again. Turn. Completely different sound.
I'm Marty Nowicki for Impact Snap, coming to you from the Turning Stone Resort and Casino. Please hit the subscribe button down below, click the bell, that way you'll get notices every time we put out a new video. And by all means, please leave your comments down below, that helps us to make more content for you.